as the Almighty was from the beginning, the Almighty shall be now and even forever and ever. Equal rights and justice stands for one, and equal rights and justice stands for all. Elia, it has always been the strength of those one who ought to have spoken and do action in their living life that makes matter in the creation. Elia, glory be to the power that enable I and I to surface upon the creation. Glory be to the ancestors for giving love and peace to our country that we are able to live in a peaceful coexistence together under the rule of law, loving one another as one citizen of both Africa, Kenya, and the world. Aelia. Aile Selassie, the first. Glory be unto the elders who have laid down the foundation in the United Nations that protects all human beings, despite of who and where you live in this creation. Give thanks for the elders who have set the foundation, Emperor Aile Selassie, in the League of Nations, who have said that uh, 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 equal rights and justice must be enjoyed by the whole creation. And through their efforts, the United Nations have laid a strong foundation which is to protect the human culture and human coexistence in this time. Uh, I and I, as Rastafari, our history has always been known to be a people who stand out boldly to protect the plants, the animals, and above all, the dignity that, enable, that enables us to be human beings in this time. Aelia. Aelia For those of you who have been following history, you know the struggle of I and I, especially the black people of the world, has not been an easy history. Since the year 1560, our ancestors have been struggled to, uh, to, to live as human beings and to respect, to be, to, to, to be given respect by even the other peoples of the world. The history of slavery has not been easy. The history of colonization has not been easy. And right now we are fighting with disease, illiteracy, poverty, and malnutrition. Eliad. So the mission of the ancestors have not yet finished because still there are many children who cannot attain basic education, basic health, healthy food for life, and many African countries are still suffering uh, 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 communal wars that is not necessary. Eliad. The land that we are living in which is motherland Africa, has been blessed by the Almighty with a lot of resources, which if we all share equally with understanding, we will all live a better life and also help the rest of the world to realize the importance of peace and law. Aelia, give thanks. Uh, today we are here specifically to address a matter that has been brought forth by the United Nations and, and, and many parts of the world have come now to debate and, 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 and allow the use of cannabis, which is marijuana, for both spiritual, uh, health, environmental, and cultural use. We, the Rastafari, of Kenya have uh, uh, are happy to live in a democratic country whereby the constitution under the Bill of Rights 31 article allows every Kenyan to enjoy the rights that is entitled within the constitution. Yes. So we, the Rastafari community uh, who have for so long been been stigmatized and misunderstood 
by the mainstream society on our, our way of life and culture, hereby come today in this institution which justifies uh, uh, our being as, 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 as Kenyans and as Africans to tell the world that we are together with the agreement of the United Nations that cannabis sativa, which is the marijuana, should be allowed for cultural, spiritual, and medicinal use for people who have been uh, uh, using it for many years and understand its, import, its importance in, in the creation today. The global warming, uh, uh, the unemployment, and, and the health issues that is affecting many of our people today has become an issue which we cannot uh, keep quiet again. We believe that uh, 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 there should be more emphasis towards research and also towards uh, uh, allowing the Rastafari to take the for forefront of advising the, the, even the country and the nation on how uh, the plant is a solution for many of our problems today. So I, I hereby uh, uh, I come here with our uh, intellectual bridges to help to interpret the constitution in a manner uh, that it can be understood that the Rastafari community has been uh, 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 wrongfully uh, 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 imprisoned and persecuted because of the use of the cannabis for their spiritual use, especially sacramental use, and also the, uh, 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 as, as indigenous community of Kenya, we the Rastafari feel also it is our right to protect all indigenous seeds which has been there since creation and also to provide is the knowledge on how to use it to improve the separation of humanity and of our environment today. So we believe that by this discussion, it will open a way for us also to start discussion in our different forums, especially the professionals. We, we ask you also not to be silent in this time. Yes, sir. The people who have been given the mandate to, to study these things and, and, and help us so that the whole world will remove the stigma and be in agreement with the United Nations uh, 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 oneness that the plant is no longer a narcotic and it is a cultural and medicinal plant and it therefore can help the creation in the problems that it's having today. So to see how we can bring a reasoning to this matter. Your left. I and I is Rastafari Lojuron Jaden, uh, uh, the, chair, the chairperson of the Rastafari Society of Kenya, which is a legal uh, institution that uh, stands for the welfare and the well-being of Rastafari indigenous community of Kenya. And uh, uh, I, I, hereby, I hereby humbly uh, ask uh, uh, the people of Kenya uh, uh, to start uh, uh, discussing and, 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 and also to welcome Rastafari in the different institutions whereby we have not been allowed to be before so that we can also share our knowledge and our experience with the rest of the Kenyans so that we can enjoy the freedom under our constitution and under our Bill of Rights and we can all uh, enjoy one country free from environmental pollution, free from uh, 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 misunderstanding.